welcome back to the Civic Side TV Newsroom, and Happy New Year! I'm your host, Jake Krause, reporting from Washington, D.C. on the latest Civic Science News, now with a focus on the environment. Have you ever wondered what these striking patterns are on the beach? Crabs searching for food were little balls of sand, sometimes creating unique designs. Inspired by tiny crab-made sand patterns spotted by artist Irene Koppelman in Panama back in 2012, and collaborating with biologist John Christie, Koppelman transformed these ephemeral designs, like nature's own fleeting work of art, into vibrant paintings. Beginning with watercolors in 2014, her work evolved over a decade to capture the delicate artwork of crabs before waves erased their trails. Now showcased in Irene Koppelman, A Matter of Framing at MAC Panama through January. This series invites us to see beauty in the brief and unnoticed and bridging the art world with the environment. A new study shows how school-based participatory science projects can make science more engaging for K-12 students. The researchers worked with two projects, measuring precipitation and searching for ladybugs in different habitats, and found that helping teachers integrate these activities into their lessons is key to success. They developed step-by-step -step guides and resources that helped students build science skills over time. The study highlights four things that makes these projects work. An engaging, age-appropriate project, a knowledgeable and adaptable teacher, a supportive school environment, and support materials. Involving experienced teachers in creating these materials made a big difference. Project leaders should work closely with teachers from the start. When teachers have the right resources and feel confident using them, everyone wins. Teachers, students, and the science itself. The Victor K. McElney Award honors local journalists who bring important science stories to their communities. In a time when local news is shrinking, these stories help people understand issues like health risks, pollution, and threats to the environment. Sponsored by MIT's Knight Science Journalism Program, the award gives $10,000 to one outstanding local science story each year. Submissions are open until January 31st. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the latest news and opportunities in civic science. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.